Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week starting September 28th, 2015. This reading is for Aquarius. Thank you for being here with me. Please remember these are general readings and may not apply to everybody watching. And if you'd like a private reading, please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need to schedule a reading. So Aquarius, on Monday you have the Four of Pentacles. Um, in this deck, the Four of Pentacles talks about the pursuit of other people's respect that may lead to excesses. Okay, so for some of you, you are overspending or you have been overspending um, to keep up with someone or get them to like you or make them think you have more money than you do that kind of situation and on Monday you realize you don't have a lot of money left and that makes you a bit angry um, but that realization will also um, tell you that it's not worth it okay you should just be yourself and the people who will appreciate that are the people who you should care about and the people who you should worry about having their respect. Um, the Four of Pentacles also talks about you wondering whether or not to invest in something on Monday because it's something different than what you're used to and you're not sure you should put your resources in it, okay? Because you're not sure you could get profit out of it but um, the four of pentacles also talks about the need to take a chance and um, invest something don't invest all of it but invest something take a chance do something different okay because there is potential for you to get your money back and some profit okay so don't be afraid don't hold on too tightly to what you have okay on Tuesday you have the Three of Chalices or the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups talks about a celebration, a celebration with your friends or the ones you care about. This is socializing, going out, um, partying, drinking, listening to music, dancing. It is just a day of having fun, okay? So you're just relaxing, you're having fun. Um, you're enjoying yourself in the company of people you care about, your friends. This could be you are meeting new people at a party you're attending, um, or you're invited to go to a party and you go and you have a lot of fun, and you meet all these new people and you form all these new friendships. Or this could be you are hosting a party and um, it could be a housewarming party for some of you and there's a lot of people coming, there's a lot of your friends coming and you're having a wonderful, wonderful time celebrating, okay? On Wednesday you have the Hanged Man. So the Hanged Man, in this deck, the Hanged Man talks about you not finding the right key to get out of a situation right now and the card is saying it is not time yet for you to do so and give it some time um, wait a little bit detach yourself from the outcome and the solution will come to you the key will come to you um, the hangman also talks about a need to change your perspective and let go of things okay except a new vision accept a new approach to things especially if you're dealing with a situation you're not sure how to resolve so the key is um, a new perspective okay so let go of everything you thought you knew or let go of what you thought that situation should look like and just adopt a new approach change your perspective and you will have the enlightenment that um, you're looking for okay on Thursday you have the Emperor so some of you could be dealing with an Aries person on Thursday and they could be your superior at work 
um, you're going in to see them, you could be negotiating things, you could be under evaluation. Um, alternatively, the emperor brings about great success and uh, prosperity in your job, in your finances, security in your job, in your finances, okay? Um, this could be, again, your superior offering you a promotion or a raise or a bonus. But whatever it is, it makes you feel like the world is in your hands, okay? So it could be promotion, it's definitely progress, advancement in your career, in your work life, okay? You are moving up the ladder and it could involve travel for some of you. On Friday, you have the world card, so definitely travel for some of you. And the world talks about the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, okay? So um, it could be the end of a job to start a new job, the end of uh, working in one location and you start working in a different location for the same uh, company. Um, Again, it could be travel, it could be the end of difficult times or the end of waiting and the beginning of new things, okay, if that makes sense. So the end of waiting and the end of procrastinating and not knowing which way to go and the a new beginning in a new direction, especially when it comes to your work and your finances. Alternatively, this is some of you could be giving birth, um, some of you could find out you're pregnant and it's the end of you um, not being pregnant and the beginning of you being pregnant, if that makes sense to you, it's that kind of situation. So the end of one situation or the end of one state of being and the beginning of a new one, okay? And it is a very positive new beginning and a very um, happy new beginning. So the advice of the world is just go with it, whatever you are offered or whatever, um, wherever this change is taking you, don't resist it, okay, because it's a fated change and it's a very, very positive change for you, okay, so just let go of whatever you need to let go, okay, change your perspective and just move forwards because on Saturday you have the King of Pentacles, okay, so this is, this is again, success in your career. This is money getting better, promotions, raises, bonuses. Um, this could be, again, your superior. So again, negotiating money, negotiating salaries, negotiating benefits, um, perks of the job, that kind of situation. Or it could be you are meeting with a, um, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, um, to get their insight on what it is you should do, which job you should choose, where you should move, where you should invest, that kind of situation, and they're giving you very, very sound advice because there's someone who's very good with money and very uh, good at making money decisions, okay? And so they're giving you advice on where it is you should invest and um, you really need to listen to what they're telling you, okay? Trust what they're telling you. On Sunday, you have the Nine of Swords. Um, the Nine of Swords is a card of anxiety, fearing the worst, um, staying up at night, fearing the worst. Um, in this deck, it talks about loneliness that leads to pessimism or depression. So, but with the Nine of Swords, this is in your mind, okay? It's not actually happening the way you see it happening. It is your perception of things. You are perceiving that you're on your own. You are perceiving that there's no one there for you. You are perceiving that the worst is going to happen when there's no real indication that it will, okay? It's that kind of situation. So on Sunday, uh, please bear this in mind and don't allow yourself to be put down by any such attitude or thoughts. Don't allow doubt in your mind. Um, don't self-sabotage. 
there's no need for that okay so just try to keep a positive attitude on Sunday because this could be coming in for some of you um, this kind of attitude and anxiety and stress um, and just going over things over and over in your head and until you get scared but just remember that it is just your mind okay and it doesn't mean it's going to happen so um, you just have to again change your attitude and change your perspective and just focus on the positive okay the general tone of your week you have the seven of Gabriel stand up for what you believe in have confidence claim your personal power okay so again claim your personal power be the Emperor have confidence and just stand up for yourself okay you deserve to have a voice you deserve to have an opinion um, make yourself heard be honest you don't have to be mean or pushy you just have to be honest and um, calm but assertive okay especially if you're dealing with negotiations or new jobs or asking for things you just have to be calm and assertive and you will get what you want you don't have to be intimidated you don't have to stress about it you don't have to ask them nicely you just have to be calm and balanced and assertive and say these are my qualifications these are my skills and this is what I think I deserve and that's it okay and you will get what you want your general advice for the week you have debt, debt paid off okay so this is a week where you are paying off your debts whether that is money or responsibilities you are completing things okay so again with the world card in there um, and it says the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life okay so again the old way of doing things that is now a burden for you because you're going through this change you are letting go of that okay you are completing things you are finishing things off you're paying off your debt so that you can head in this new direction with the world card which will bring you a lot of financial security and stability okay and in love and relationships you have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world okay so if you do have a partner this week you um, you're either going out or going on a trip together or you should be going on a trip together that's the advice of the cards okay or if you're not going on a trip just find one day this week that you just spend together just doing things that you both enjoy to do okay and just enjoy each other um, for those of you this could be travel this could be like a second honeymoon this could be or it could be a trip that turns into a second honeymoon or it's a trip that is a honeymoon um, but you are just taking some time off or you should take some time off with your partner this week and just focus on your relationship and on each other and just have some fun together and if you are single the card is telling you that you could be meeting someone on a trip you could be meeting someone um, on a retreat type um, situation um, or a workshop I'm hearing somewhere you go just to relax and do something different but you have to travel for it that is where you could be meeting someone new and again just have confidence and approach them okay And it could also be you are disconnecting from an old way of being and an old way of seeing things and approaching love or approaching your relationship in a different way, okay, in a more positive way for you. So that is what I see for you, Aquarius, for the week of September 28th, 2015. Um, please take the advice of the cards and it looks like a wonderful week. Uh, thank you again for your support. Thank you for being here with me. Please like, share, subscribe and comment and I'll see you next week. Take care.